O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. The first book of Samuel, chapters 17 and 18. Now as Saul watched David go out to fight the Philistine, he asked Abner, the general in command of the army, Whose son is this young man, Abner? Abner replied, As surely as you live, O king, I don't know. The king said, Find out whose son this boy is. So when David returned from striking down the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul. He still had the head of the Philistine in his hand. Saul said to him, Whose son are you, young man? David replied, I am the son of your servant Jesse from Bethlehem. When David had finished talking with Saul, Jonathan and David became bound together in a close friendship. 
Jonathan loved David as much as he did his own life. Saul retained David on that day and did not allow him to return to his father's house. Jonathan made a covenant with David, for he loved him as much as he did his, his own life. He took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David, along with the rest of his gear, including his sword, his bow, and even his melt. On every mission on which Saul sent him, David achieved success. So Saul appointed him over the men of war. This pleased not only the army, but also Saul's servants. When the men arrived after David returned from striking down the Philistine, the women from all the cities of Israel came out singing and dancing to meet King Saul. They were happy as they played their tambourines and their three-stringed instruments. The women who were playing the music sang, Saul has struck down his thousands, but David his tens of thousands. This made Saul angry. The statement displeased him and he thought to himself, they have attributed to David tens of thousands. But to me, only thousands. What does he lack except the kingdom? So Saul was keeping an eye on David from that day onward. The next day an evil spirit from God rushed upon Saul and he prophesied within his house. Now David was playing the lyre that was there. There was a spear in Saul's hand and Saul threw the spear thinking, I will nail David to the wall. But David escaped from him on two different occasions. So Saul feared David because the Lord was with him but had departed from Saul. Saul removed David from his presence and made him a commanding officer. David led the army out to battle and back. David achieved success in all that he did, for the Lord was with him. When Saul saw how successful he was, he was afraid of him all the more. But Israel and Judah loved David, for he was the one leading them out to battle and back. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 19. After Jesus had said this, he continued on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. Now when he approached Bethpage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of the disciples, telling them, Go into the village ahead of you. When you enter it, you will find a colt tied there that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone asks why are you untying it, just say, The Lord has need of it. So those who were sent ahead found it exactly as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked, Why are you untying the colt? And they replied, The Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus through their cloaks on the colt, and had Jesus ride on it. As, they, as he rode along, they spread their cloaks on the road. As he approached the road leading down from the Mount of Olives, a whole crowd of disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. But some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, you must rebuke your disciples. He answered, I tell you, if they keep silent, the very stones themselves will cry out. Now when Jesus approached and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you had only known on this day, even you, the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. For the days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment against you, surround you and close in on you from every side. They will demolish you, you and the children within your walls. They will not leave with one stone on top of another, because you did not recognise the time of your visitation from God. Then Jesus entered the temple courts and began to drive out those who were selling things there, saying to them, It is written, My house will be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of robbers. And Jesus taught daily in the temple courts. The chief priests and the experts in the law and the prominent leaders amongst the people sought to assassinate him. But they could not find a way to do so, for all the people hung on his words. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance, to do always that which is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day. Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. When unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day, 
and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day to my Lord and Saviour. Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and forevermore. Amen.